Hey Kids Life, welcome back to our Culture Champion series where we're exploring some of the key characters that built the early church and the roles they played in spreading the message of Jesus Christ to the very first Christians. So what we see as the church today was started by these incredible men and women who laid down their lives to make sure that the life-giving message of salvation through Jesus was spread to the entire world. Sounds cool, hey? Ready for a game? I am. Let's go. This game is called Cookie Face. For this game, you're gonna need some cookies or some small snacks and a partner. This is how you play. Put the cookie on your forehead. Try and get the cookie into your mouth only using your face muscles. This game is a race. So let's see who can get the cookie fastest. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Time's up! Stop. Alrighty, if we find somewhere swampy enough, we'll be sure to find a blueberry flamingo swan. Sounds fantastic, Councillor Marty. And I think if we look over here, we'll find some yellow bellow deli. Yellow dello belly. Those birds yeah. by the zip line. True. Mm. A bird watching contest. Our best idea yet. I believe so. No one finds birds better than we do. No one. Oh, did you hear that? I did. Shh. Shh. It sounds like something's approaching. Something bigger than a bird. Oh, oh no. It's oh, a bear, Marty. It's a bear. Get the kid. Oh, no. 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 Oh, um, did I hear someone talking about yellow dello belly ducks? Oh, it's just you. Hello, Sydney. <laughs> Why aren't you playing capture the flag with the other campers? Oh, um, I didn't want someone to run into me and then he breaks again. Um, hmm. yellow dello belly ducks are from northern Spain and they can grow 
Up to seven pounds. Um, there's a nursery but in mine. Yes, Camp Classer, uh, Andy and I, we're just about to make our way there. Oh, oh, uh, uh, yeah, great, let's go. Oh, uh, no, uh, why don't you go play Captain Flag with the other campers? It sounds like a real doozy. Besides, you wouldn't want to go see this bird spotting contest thing we're doing. It'd be boring for you, Sydney. Why don't you just go right now? A bird spotting contest? Yes. Why didn't I know about this? We're gonna need binoculars. We're gonna need a uh, bird call machines. We're gonna need books. We're gonna need notepads. Uh, a cool team name ASAP. See me? Camp counselor Andy and I are going to go on this adventure. <gasps> cool. <laughs> yeah, alone. <laughs> oh, um. I'm gonna uh, go continue to count uh, the, the grains of sand on the beach um, by myself. <sighs> okay, Sydney, why don't you come join us for a walk to the library? Okay. Okay. Let's go to the library. Could you just wait? Oh, hey, little kids life campers. Isn't summer camp the bestest? All right, dudes. I'm so excited when you guys join me here. All right, you excited for today's story? Yeah? All right, let's get into the word. The believers of the early church were described as being one in heart and in mind. Whoa. They were all about looking after each other and ensuring that the message that Jesus had given his life for was spread throughout the entire world, dudes. In this community of believers was a man, or a dude, named Barnabas. He was a fairly wealthy man, but he used what he had to help the disciples and their mission to spread the good news. One day, Barnabas sold a field that he owned and brought all the money and put it at the apostles' feet. He kept none of it for himself, dude. He was generous and humble and put the church and its mission before his own needs. Barnabas was not just generous with his money. He was also generous with his time and effort that he gave to encouraging others to pursue God. The name Barnabas actually means son of encouragement, dude. Saul, one of the Pharisees and the persecutors of the disciples, had an encounter with Jesus on the way to Damascus. Saul changes his ways and instead of killing the followers of Jesus, he became one himself. Saul immediately began preaching and teaching people about Jesus' death and resurrection. When Paul entered Jerusalem, he tried to join the group of disciples, but they were all afraid of him since he was one that used to try and kill them. Barnabas, however, believed in Saul and saw that he was a changed man. He stood up for him in front of all of the disciples, telling them of Saul's encounter with Jesus on the road to Damascus. The disciples eventually believed him and let him stay with them, and he began to preach and speak boldly in the name of the Lord. Barnabas became a pillar of encouragement in the church. He was described by those who knew him as a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and faith. He was humble in character, and he cared more about the well-being of others and growing Jesus' church than he cared about making himself great and known, dudes. Come on, Barnabas. Councilor Marty, yeah. Barnabas was generous with everything that he had. Mm -hmm. His time, his talents, just everything. What a guy. It seems like he didn't even care about making himself known. He stood up for Saul because he kept his eyes on Jesus. Whoa, 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 whoa. Eyes on Jesus. <sighs> Memory verse. Memory verse. Mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 to 2. And let us run with endurance the race that God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus, the champion and initiator and perfecter of our faith. <sighs> Such a great verse, Councillor Marty. Mm -hmm. Hey, Councillor Marty, I was thinking, yeah. should we give Sydney hey. our bird spotting equipment? Mm -hmm. I mean, she's like way mm -hmm. better at it than we are, and I think she'll spot a whole lot more birds. You know what? You're right, Camp Counselor Andy. We should give her all the things we've done. It would bless her. Mm. Okay. I think it'd be a great head start for her. I mean, I've also got these drawings. This is perfect. Um, they're not very good, but maybe hey. she could enhance them, perhaps. Let's go show her now. I think so. Okay. 
We can be humble people when we put other people before ourselves, just like Barnabas did. We can use our gifts, our talents, and our money, not just to make ourselves great, but to love others and to glorify God. Thanks for joining us, Kids Life. We'll see you back here next week.